Suddenly, character issues were in the spotlight. After years of study, a values commission decided upon 18 character objectives that would be taught in Maryland public schools. How is the project doing so far? Here's a progress report. Does anybody remember what this word is? Who remembers what that word is, Brian? Character. Character, very good. Sharon Grant's second grade class is beginning today's character education lesson. Very good. A person needs to be honest. Very good. With funding from the United Way, Baltimore City Public Schools bought these teaching guides from the Character Education Institute in San Antonio, Texas. For 20 minutes, five days a week, Baltimore students learn about character and citizenship. Janet Parshall, former teacher and spokeswoman for Concerned Women for America, is critical of such structured lessons. One can practice justice and fairness and create an atmosphere in the classroom where the students come to know what it is the teacher expects. Well, Miss Jones doesn't like it when we cheat on our tests. Miss Jones says we're supposed to treat each other fairly. And she creates an atmosphere rather than sitting in a magic circle for 20 minutes and, and lecturing, if you will, about a value. The program here is beginning its second year, and so far it's been well received. Parents like Stacy Rice think character education is a good idea even though her daughter, Chauvet, learns character lessons at home. Because a lot of the kids don't have a proper upbringing at home, and they need to learn it somewhere, so I guess it's better to learn it in school. But should schools already struggling with too much material and too little time be responsible for what parents are not teaching their kids at home? Whatever we have to do to help this child become a whole person and a successful person is what we have to do. I enjoy teaching character education. However, I find it difficult a lot of times to fit it into the curriculum or into the day because we're required to teach so many different areas. Maryland schools were some of the first in the country to take on character education. The program's pioneers decided to call the instruction Character and Citizenship to avoid conflict in the community. Uh, quite frankly, when we did this back in the mid-80s, we were uh, attempting to avoid the red flag of the word values because people's natural reaction was, whose values? In this case, the values of Maryland citizens. A state values commission representing parents, teachers, administrators, and community groups agreed that 18 character traits should be taught in public schools. Patriotism, respect for all people, property, and the Constitution, self-esteem, personal integrity, and compassion are a few. They are traits that critics say can't be taught in a classroom. Ultimately, what we're talking about is the condition of the human heart. Can that be put forth in a lesson, in the same lesson plan level as teaching the capitals of the countries? I don't think so. John Martin.